much that even dogs play football. Like, it's incredible. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying, but it's no easy. Oh, that's a ah, that was good. I need to be closer. So now I'm trying to find a good layering using the dog as a as a right on the main subject. The problem is the dog is moving quite a lot, and uh, it's kind of hard. So this is Caminito in Buenos Aires, it's a place full of colors. Um, honestly, it's not my kind of favorite place to photograph because it's super touristic. Um, but at the same time, it's full of colors, it's full of life. It's a place that is full of people, so that allows me to create layer shots more easily. Um, it's definitely full of people, tourists, and, uh, and also locals. Today's Father's Day, as I said before. So yeah, a lot of families, a lot of kids around. And, um, and Argentina is one of the places where you can do street photography without worrying much about the, the people's reaction. They usually people smile at you. And whenever people are like, not angry, but looking at you, it's because they want to understand what you're doing. Most of the people don't have any idea about street photography. They just don't know, understand the concept. They don't know why you're taking pictures of them in the streets and some, sometimes they just won't understand what you're doing. Uh, so then, and then when someone is wandering or something like that, and just approach them and show the picture, even complimenting the people, ah, you look very nice with the background, and that's it. I haven't had any issue in Buenos Aires. Um, people are very nice here. And it's a city with a lot of character. There are some neighborhoods like this one and some San Telmo as well, Palermo. Uh, there are beautiful places to do the street photography. A lot of art in the streets, a lot of colors. So as always, I'm shooting here F-16. People tend to worry a lot uh, about the fraction and the loss of sharpness, but honestly, I'd rather have more things in focus than worrying about a little bit of extra sharpness. You know, it's, I just need to have a little bit of clarity in the shots, and I think that the sharpness is good enough. I'm, I'm not thinking like uh, private photography or like portrait where I need a lot of detail. Um, so it's actually pretty good. So now I'm trying to get a shot with a with a little 
Uh, mirror in front of me, and I wish someone came and can just have a head of someone in the frame. Pretty unlikely that I'm gonna get someone in the frame. So this is one of the things I love about Caminito, is there's a very nice music, you know, someone is playing tango. And, um, yeah, it's lovely. Uh, Red color is appearing in the, in, the, in the frame repeatedly. So, um, yeah, the chairs are red, the umbrella is red, and also the hat. So, I can get rhythm to the picture. So, I was trying to get some shot of the kids playing uh, football with the dog. Uh, I couldn't get any good shot, I think. but. But at least it's worth a try, and it's good to see. Like I got a, a nice stroll there, like a, like a month ago. Um, so, but it's always worth to go back to same places and try again and try. So you you never know when things are gonna fall in the right place. So uh, yeah, every day is different. Not every day you're in your best. Um, So whenever I get a, like a somewhat decent shot at the beginning of the day, then I then I get in, into the rhythm and I feel like I'm gonna get um, decent shots throughout the day. But it's really relative. Some days I I just not feeling it, and um, and it's kind of weird. I, I, sometimes I push myself to keep taking photos even if I'm not feeling it. But uh, in that case, I'm I'm already written enough that it's a it's gonna be a bad day, it's not gonna be a day with good shots. So I'd rather, whenever I don't feel like that, just walk around. Try, um, I put the camera down and I just try to see compositions without actually taking pictures. I, I try to see people's emotion, uh, focus on the color, but not focus on the camera. And actually that works for me. Sometimes it's good to stop, to put the camera down. Uh, nobody's at its best every single day. Um, but it's good to keep trying uh, every now and then. Uh, it's good to let yourself, let your eyes rest, get some rest. Uh, maybe you need to get some ideas about like a series you're planning on shooting or anything, pretty much anything. It could be anything. The most important thing is just to, for me, is to enjoy the art of photography, enjoying to to be to to be walking on the streets in a sunny day like this one uh, enjoy the light, enjoy what's, what's going on see people's emotions, see lines, shapes and everything now see how lights affect the colors uh, throughout the day yeah, no, it's really nice just to walk around and with your camera I don't remember who said this but um, a camera is an instrument to help you to see without a camera. ¿Y esto lo tienen para vender o para la familia nomás? No, para nosotros. Ah, pues bueno, la familia. Buenísimo. Pues que... No, bueno, que aproveche. ¿Se puede sacar alguna fotito? ¿Sí? El típico... No, para el otro lado. Chao chicos, aproveche.